But besides Simone, I feel like the talent and the depth just isn't like what it used to be. I just notice like I mean, obviously, a lot of girls don't work as hard. The girls just don't have the work ethic, like, and it's hard, too, because a safe sport. Like, coaches can't get on athletes, and they have to be really careful what they say, which in some ways is really good, but at the same time, to get to where you need to be in gymnastics, you do have to be, I feel like, a little aggressive and a little intense. Because Gymnast Michaela Skinner is currently acting like the victim after she had come from the USA gymnastic team. She made a video, I think it was on YouTube, saying they don't train as they used to be before, as they used to train before, that they are now lazy, like they need to go back to train the way they used to train, like when they were being oppressed. She had a lot to say, even though she kind of excluded Simone Bowles. What she had to say, at the time she made that video, I did not think Simone Biles responded to what she had to say about the USA gymnastic team. But after winning the gold medal at the Olympics, this was the inspiration behind Simone Biles' caption on Instagram. If you guys saw the picture that Simone Biles posted where she said lazy, untalented or something like that, like that was the inspiration. Michaela Skinner's comments about them was the inspiration behind that caption because look at you saying we are lazy we are not talented and then we went ahead to win the gold medal after winning the gold medal she literally went on to block simone bows and simone bows literally addressed the fact that she has been blocked now she's online trying to give a white woman tears trying to have like the victim after she has come from these people unprovoked she's trying to say that simone bow she talked to her fans that they should stop coming at her she's tired of the backlash that she's getting and it is even pissing people off i love the fact that her own people are even calling her out more because what in the capacity is literally going on i have put together what the people are saying about this situation so without wasting much time let's get right into it remember michaela skinner the gymnast who said that the American gymnasts don't train as hard anymore and they're lazy and insinuated that they should still be training like they were when they were being abused. Yeah, check this out. To Simone, I am asking you directly and publicly to please put a stop to this. Please ask your followers to stop. You have been an incredible champion for mental health awareness and a lot of people need your help now. We've been hurt and attacked in ways that I am certain you um, never intended. I have seen some real extraordinary white woman tears in my day, but appealing directly to Simone Biles, a black woman who has endured more hate and racism and bigotry and horrific behavior across her career than Michaela Skinner could even comprehend, to stop the bullying and be the bigger person. It would be beyond comprehension to me if it weren't for the fact that it's pretty clear she's just trying to gaslight people into believing that she's the victim in this situation rather than just taking accountability and issuing a real apology. She does not want her name cleared by Simone Biles. She wants racists and conservatives and other white women to believe that she just wants to put an end to this for the safety of her and her family. Do I think it's cool that people get death threats and hate aimed at them and their families in situations like this? No. But I also find it really rich that suddenly she's on the side of civility and being the bigger person and just stepping up when she used Simone Biles and Suni Lee and Jordan Childs and the rest of the team as leverage for clout and attention heading into the Olympics. This is not genuine. This is one other way to get more people on Simone Biles back, on Suni Lee's back, on Jordan Child's back. This is one more way to attack non-white women with your tears. Appealing directly to Simone Biles is some crazy fucking shit. That's crazy. Take accountability for what you said, apologize, say, you know what? I deserved what came my way and I wanna move forward and I've learned a lot from this. If nothing, I am now quite humbled. Get on the internet and say that. But asking a black woman who has been through what she has been through in the public eye 
to make things better for you after you ran your mouth. There's so many times where white women don't understand that their words and behaviors have consequences and they resent those consequences. I don't think, again, that consequence to being a bigot, to being a hater should be threats to your family. I also think white women like Michaela Skinner, many of us, don't take the same accountability and the same thought process into account when we run our mouths when we start saying shit. It didn't seem like you cared very much about Simone's mental health when you were talking about how her and her teammates don't have to suffer through abusive regimes anymore. Suddenly, you really respect Simone's commitment to mental health. When the whole point of your original video was to tear down the change in training that they have made since addressing their physical and mental health. And now you want Simone Biles after she has had one of the most incredible Olympic stories in the history of the United States participating in the Olympics, you're centering yourself and what you're going through. That fucking tracks. Simone's latest post and others that followed it fueled another way. You talked all this shit, started a fight, and then you got punched in the mouth and now you're crying. Like, th this is so pathetic. Y'all, y'all get online. You spew hate. You s start a shit storm, and then you wonder why the fuck it's raining on you. Simone Biles is a much bigger, badder wolf and badass than you are. You, you thought Simone Biles was just this cute little gymnast. You don't get to be the greatest, arguably, Olympian of all time by just being a little, I'm just going to go out and tumble. No. You've got to be a fucking badass that knows how to put your foot on somebody's neck. You started a fight that you couldn't finish. I'm getting, Simone, can you please help me not? Shut the fuck up. And no one talks about the deep-seated hurt of betrayal. The feud between Simone Biles and her former teammate, Michaela Skinner, who criticized some of this year's women's gymnastics team. Now, Skinner has posted a video on Instagram calling on Simone's fans to stop harassing her. I just think if you take the Simone Biles situation out of it, then I feel like people can handle things the way that they feel appropriate. I just don't like it when someone does something and then when someone responds to their disrespect, then all of a sudden they become the villain, right. villain and the person who started it becomes the victim. Right. That's social media right now. That's exactly what's going on, and but, this is perpetuating that. And I, I understand it's perpetuating it, but it's also opening up a conversation about it because I think a lot of people need to understand this. Because there is there are certain people who are supposed to always take the high road. And no one talks about the deep seat, seated hurt of betrayal. This in some way was a betrayal, and she was responding to it in the way that she saw fit. I'm not going to ever condone anyone being bullied on social media. I'm never going to condone it whether you're an adult or a child. But I think that people need to understand that when you come for someone and you open this up, then you cannot control what the response is going to be. Now, this is extreme, but I think a lot of people could heed that warning. These gymnasts are lazy. They do not have the work ethic that they need in order to win gold. I mean, I know I haven't won gold this season, but they are just not doing what it takes to win gold. Oh my God, thank you guys so much. Lazy and lacks work ethic. This message is for Simone Biles. Even though I blocked you, I still need to remain the victim here. I am asking for you to let all of your followers and people that respect you and appreciate you and know that you are not lazy and that you definitely do not lack work ethic to know that even though I spewed those words at you and even though I started this battle, I am the victim in this situation and I need to be protected. I am offended that the words that I used in that video were placed inside of your caption. Those words hurt deeply. And although I meant every word, it is not right. Because now people are coming at me, fueling the fire, 
that I started. Simone, I ask you again, while you're blocked, to please let everyone know that this is not a battle that needs to be won. Well, I need to win it. But understand that I am the victim and I need you to make things right. We're still in our very patriotic era right now because the Olympics are still going on. And Michaela Skinner <laughs> released the video and I'm like, girl, 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 I'm going to hold your hand when I tell you this. But you said that with your whole chest. And, you know, I'm sorry, but this is like the case study for how the internet is forever. So... No, Simone won't be cleaning up your mess. And while I never advocate for bodily harm to come to someone over something they said over the internet, you said this during the actual Olympics, in the middle of them winning all these medals and, and doing amazing and doing so much to change the landscape of how we're viewing women in sports. They are such an integral part of that for how we view women's bodies in sports. Like I have never seen an Olympics with girls who just like look normal. Uh, they're strong and powerful and like healthy and like just they're adults, which I just think is so amazing. Like their dreams are not over and they're in their 20s. And I, I mean, you get what you get. And um, sometimes you have to suck it up and not throw a fit. So, sorry. Guys, this is white woman tea at the highest level possible. Imagine not considering the mental health of people who do the same thing as you, coming online to rubbish and talk down on their efforts and say they do not have enough work ethic in order for them to be able to win a gold medal. And then they went ahead and win that gold medal and reference you in the caption and now you're crying wolf like you literally crying wolf on the internet like what are they supposed to do you didn't consider the mental health of your own teammates before you didn't consider the mental health of these people when you were talking but now you are saying she stands for mental health and she needs to call this people to order now you are acting like the victim in this situation this is so funny because i love how she literally talked down on them and they went ahead to do that same thing she had said they could not do like this is how life works literally and it's just a very funny situation let me hear what you guys think about this woman literally going on youtube rant saying these people are lazy blah 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 and now that they are now using our words as caption and people are coming at her she is calling out for help let me hear what you guys think about that because this is so funny the very first lady that stitched and talked about this whole situation she literally said everything like i love love her stitch so much shout out to the other creators as well thank you all so much for joining let's continue this conversation in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one